Hey guys, my name is Samsonite, and welcome to the Horror Scope. I have no idea what this is, I just know it's a short little game. I. Oh. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of the entire experience. You'll be asked a series of questions, and you must answer them honestly. Okay. Now, when I say them, answer them honestly, I don't mean how you'd like to answer them. Answer with the truth, even if that's hard to face. Is this. I. I, I, if I remember correctly, because I got this game a long time ago, and then I totally forgot about it. It sort of like judges your, judges you as a, as how you. I don't remember what this is exactly, but I'm glad we're doing it. We all want a positive outcome. We don't always get what we want. All right, I get it. I'll, I won't. Yeah. The process is very simple. Just answer a long series of questions. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. Okay. As long as the answers you provide to the questions are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind you do not have natural access to. Call it natural intuition. A sixth sense, if you will. That's a movie that you can only really watch once. Uh, this is you. This is your mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain working as a defense mechanism. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. Okay. Uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. Uh, we are about to begin a series of questions provided you're a willing participant. I'll go get a drink. You know what? I'll take you up on that. I'll go grab a Mountain Dew or something. Relax. I'll work as hard as hard as anyone else. But I'll also relax as hard as anyone else. Hmm. If you notice, I did not say I take a drink of Mountain Dew. It said water. And uh, if you know me at all, you know water's not my thing. Ready, set, go. Are you afraid of the dark? No. Would you consider yourself to be a loner? No. Do you ever feel- wait, can you see my mouse? I'm just gonna put him off the screen. Do you ever feel alone even when in a crowd? No. If you knew the date of your best friend's death, would you tell them? Yes. Have you ever been? Yes. Uh, are you uncomfortable in deep open? Yes. Do you know me? The lights flickered. Uh, if you could give up your friends to become rich and famous, would you? Absolutely not. Uh, if you looked into a crystal ball and saw that the love of your life was going to hurt you badly, would you leave them? Would I leave Michaela? No. Not for anything. Would you consider yourself to be courageous? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a shallow person? Honestly, no. I do for the bit a lot, but no, I don't think so. Do you fear the unknown? I hate the unknown. I don't fear it. It depends. Because the unknown can mean a lot of things. I don't know... If I'm gonna get in a car crash tomorrow, I don't know if if uh, this uh, like if I'm gonna get a promotion or something. I was up for two, by the way, so like runner up in both. So I'm I'm good. This is delving into my into my brain, and now I'm trying to gloat to stray focus. <laughs> Do you fear the unknown? I'm gonna say no, because uh, it's it's somewhat. If I knew everything, everything would be boring. Does answering a phone, a ringing phone give you, yes. If you found a suitcase full of money, yes. Uh, does the name John mean anything to you? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be manic? I can be a little manic, yes. Do you get bored easily? Yes and no. If I'm doing something with my wife or my 
so-called friends. They're my cousins. They're, they're more than friends. I call them my friends, and they don't like that for whatever reason. They're like my best friends ever. I have four... Definitive... Four or five definitive best friends... Ever. And I'm related to all of them. Now, I have plenty of friends outside of family. Like, even... Shit, what is it? Yeah, tomorrow, I'm going and meeting up with a bunch of them with my wife, and we're gonna play D&D, &D, and I'm related to none of them. I have good friends, it's just my best friends I'm related to. Uh, I got off track. Um, do you get bored easily? I do get bored all the time, and it's... But I don't get bored of certain things ever. Like, if I'm playing Ark with Dimitri and George, I could go for 77 hours straight if my body would allow it. Or my wife. Anything with my wife, I never get bored. If I'm with her, that's it. I'm gonna say... No. Do you ever take dangerous and unnecessary risks? All the time. Mm-hmm. When you die, would you like to be cremated? I actually have a plan for when I die. Um, there's this thing you can do where you get cremated, so the answer is going to be yes. Uh, you get cremated, and then you're put in this, like, urn thing, but it's biodegradable, and then a, a tree, like, is planted with it, and then a tree grows from it. And I feel like that is something I would like, like, my legacy afterwards, instead of, like, a stone, which is fine, uh, I visit a couple stones, like, of people I know and knew and miss greatly, um, but I would rather have it be a tree. I like that. So, yes. Uh, would you ever kill an animal under any circumstances? I killed one animal once because it was a, a possum that was snapping at dogs around my apartment complex when we, when I, before I got, uh, with my wife, right before, and it was snapping at the dogs, it snapped at my dog, so I killed it with the crossbow. I didn't like it at all, but I did. Do you consider yourself... To be romantic I think so are you a jealous person I'm territorial not jealous and there is a big difference would you empathetic person yeah actually uh, do you like animals more than people which animal and which people <clears throat> Yes. Are you a virgin? I'm married. This is all very interesting. Do you love your mother? Of course I love my mother. Do you love your father? Yes. Do you enjoy taking long, relaxing walks? Yes. It's Halloween. It is probably my favorite holiday. Do you believe in a higher power of any kind? Well, I'd say yeah. If Satan were watching your every move and you knew it, would you feel uncomfortable? Yes. Do you partake in any form of drug activity? No, I do not. Do you drink alcohol? Not even once. Do you have any sexual fetishes or fantasies that you consider bizarre or uncommon? I don't think so. That Not that I've... I haven't... Maybe I just haven't discovered it yet. Very interesting. Do you thrive under pressure? Yes. If you end the world with the push of a button, would you do it? No. Do you sometimes hope for the... All the time! Have you ever killed an animal? Yes. Have you... If you had to resort to cannibalism to survive, would you be able to? I think so. Do you like guns? Not really. Uh, yes. Do you like blunt objects? Yes. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. Theoretically, if you had the opportunity to go to space on an alien vessel, would you go? If I could come back, yes. Uh, never to return again, would you leave? No. I have too many people here. Did you know that over 20% of koala bears have chlamydia? No, I didn't know that. 
I just thought it was... Thanks, Alice. Uh, are you alone right now? Don't get creepy. My wife's on the way home from a class. Are you sure? Yes. Well, there's four cats. You get starstruck. No. No. Have you ever said a prayer? I... Yes. Yes. Do you believe in magic? No. Do you believe in angels? To define angels, yes. Do you believe in demons? Well, they kind of go hand in hand, don't they? If you knew you could summon a demon, would you do it? No. Speaking of demons, have you ever played... Uh, I don't think so. You really should have the fruity epic. I'm not biased at all. I like this game. Now that the shit... Let us continue. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I would. Uh, do you like horror movies? I love them. Would you consider yourself to be evil? This isn't a question for me. This is a question for my wife, cousins, and brother. Uh, I don't think so. Mm. Would you consider anyone to be evil? Yes, I would. 1% of the populations are sociopaths, and that means out of 100 people you've encountered in your life, you've met at least one sociopath. Chances are you speak to a few of them on a daily basis. Yes, I did know that. Uh, the, could potentially be a sociopath? I don't think so. It's better to kill than be killed. Yes. Do you think that stealing from big corporations is acceptable? No, don't steal at all. Are you afraid of anyone in your life? No. If you're afraid of somebody, you should fix that. <laughs> You should not be af well. I'm afraid of my wife's wrath, but that's acceptable. <laughs> Do you enjoy gambling? Not with real money, no. With like in-game stuff, yes. But in re I would not. Mm -mm -mm. I do like the games you play at. Like I'm great at poker. I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, I'll say yes. Are you afraid of spiders? I don't like spiders. But I'm not afraid of spiders. Do you believe in legendary monsters such as Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? As fun as they are to delve into, I don't think so. Do you believe in vampires? No, I don't. Do you believe in lycanthropes? No, I don't. Do you have an addictive personality? I don't think so. Do you like to cook? Yes! I'm not good at it. Do you, would you say you're a confident person? Yes, I would. Do you think you're physically attractive? After I got off of Accutane and my face cleared up real nice, granted, I still have the scars and stuff, but, and then I got this new hairstyle that COVID kind of gave to me because my hair got really long, and I was like, wait, if I just put it over like this, my wife likes it. Uh, do you think, yeah, I would say above a five out of, like, on a scale from one to 10, I would be a five or above, hopefully. Do you think you'd... Well, I'm married. Do you lie to people on a daily basis? Yeah! Customers. You work retail. Sometimes you just got to get them out of out of your face. Uh, do you suffer from anxiety? Nah. Do you suffer from depression? I have been depressed, but I am not currently, I don't think. Do you exercise daily? Yeah. Well, Michaela and I just bought a whole bunch of, like, exercise stuff, so I'm going to say yes. Do you stay hydrated frequently? No! <laughs> Are you afraid of drowning? I, I mean, I don't want to. I would, of course, it would want me to die in water. I'm going to I'm gonna say yeah. Are you afraid of a home invasion? Yes, but not for the reasons you think. You'd think, like, I don't want my stuff to, to get hurt. I don't want, I don't want to get hurt. I am terrified. I watched the movie Hush, and I'm like, if that happened while I was gone to Michaela, I don't know what I would do. Yes. Have you ever broken a bone? No, I... Well, does my nose count? That's technically cartilage. Do I hear... A wife? I do. Hang on, we're gonna wait for her to come in. Hi! Hello. I want you to do this after me. Okay. What is 
It's a, a it's a quiz where you just do a whole bunch of yeses and noes. I'm making a video on it myself. We're gonna do you next if you don't mind. It only take about ten minutes. Cool. I'm gonna finish this up. I love you. I could tell because I was expecting you home in like 20 minutes. It's whatever. You're just interrupting my video. It's fine. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Hi. It's me. The wifey. <laughs> the wifey. This is a, it's just a bunch of yes or no questions. It's kind of creepy. It's really cool. Some questions are more personal than others. And I don't know what the end goal is, but it's really cool. And I want okay. you to take the quiz. Okay. I'm gonna continue. Okay. I love you. I love you. No, I have not. If a killer would... Wait a minute. This is a stupid question. If a killer were in your house, would you run or fight? Yes and no are my answers. Yes. If your house was on fire and you could safely get out, but in order to save your family pets, you'd have to venture back and sacrifice your life to save theirs, would you do it? Absolutely. If you contracted a fatal, incurable disease that only gave you three years to live, would you try and pass it on to someone else intentionally? Um, there are like six people that I would say yes to. Well, hey, it did say at the beginning, the scenario that you fabricate, there it's a rule at the beginning. The scenario that you fabricate in your head to try and answer the question is the one you have to answer to. I'm, we are two different people. I sure up my first thought went to AIDS, and I was like, I do not want to give that to anyone. There are a handful of people I wouldn't mind seeing die. Yeah, but that's fucked up. I'm answering honestly. If you were being haunted by an evil spirit, would you continue to stay in the house? I do currently! Uh, if I told you that you were currently being haunted by an evil spirit, would you believe me? I do currently! Is money one of your favorite things I like what I can do with it I like money do you like quiet no do you enjoy loud aggressive music yes are you afraid of dolls not really once bitten twice shy do you agree with what I don't even know what that means do you believe in love at first sight I loved my wife since I was 13. Do you believe in the idea of soulmates? Yes, I have loved my wife since she, I was 13. Have you ever had a one night stand? No, I have not. Do you have a sweet tooth? Yes, my wife is actually the only person I've been with. And I didn't, I'm not the wait till marriage type. It just happened to work out that way. Hmm. Mm, chaos, not drama. So I'm gonna. Oh God, that's a chaos. Yes. Drama. No. I'll say yes for the chaos. Do you like fire? Yes, I do. Is there anything you're passionate about? I'm passionate about everything I do. I think. If you're not passionate about it, I don't see a point in doing it. Uh, would you consider yourself to be a gentle person? I can be, but not by default. Are you afraid of conflict? Absolutely not. Uh, have any of these questions made you nervous? No. Are you feeling relaxed at this moment? Yes, I'm enjoying myself. Do you think anyone hates you? Yes. I know there are a couple. Do you hate anyone in particular? Yes, I do. Are you prone to holding grudges? I absolutely am, yes. Forgive, but never forget. Nope, I don't even forgive. Uh, everything happens for a reason. Do you agree? Now, I want to agree with everything happens for a reason. But I don't believe it does. I love the saying. I want it to be a thing. However, no. Do you like explosions? Actually, no. I don't. Do you enjoy the smell of burning firewood? Yes. Are you afraid of flying? No, but my wife is. Are you afraid of driving? No. Do you think war between nations is healthy? No. Do you consider yourself to be open-minded? Yes. Do you ever dream about being chased? Not often. I dr I have. I actually am currently diagnosed with nightmare disorder. I I have nightmares about everything. Not so much being chased. 
I, it has happened, but not... Do you ever dream about hurting someone else? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a violent person? I used to be back in, like, high school. I would get in fist fights a lot. Not so much anymore. I try and stay away from it. If I told you... If I were to tell you that hell was coming for you, would you know what I meant? No. If your answers to these questions could supernaturally predict your potential fate, would you believe it and use it as a cautionary procedure to change the future and save your own life? Yeah! That's good to know. Shut your mouth. Would you consider yourself to be incredibly self-aware? Incredibly is, is, is a little strong, but I would say I am self-aware, yes. I've told you that mirrors were a gateway to another realm. No, that's not a thing. Uh, can you feel something watching you right now? Yes, and there's two of them looking at me. The other one's asleep on the fish tank. I don't know where the fourth one is. Uh, yes. Can you hear the whispers yet? Nope. Do you feel cold? Mm -mm. I like it cold, though. Do you feel uneasy? I pulled a muscle in my sternum right below my rib cage. And it's been giving me hell, so I would say yes. Do you feel like something is coming? No. If something were coming, do you have a good idea of what it might be? Mm -mm. Do you enjoy the taste of blood? No. Would you rather bleed out? No. I don't like my blood. Blood doesn't bother me. Seeing that something that is supposed to be on the inside, on my outside, I don't like it. I don't faint or anything, but... Would you help your best friend cover up a murder they committed? That would be Zachary. And yes, I would. Do you think about death often? I don't like to, but I do. Uh, do you think you'd survive if you had to fight off a pack of wolves barehanded? Yes! That's so metal. Would you stay overnight in a haunted house by yourself if someone dared you to do it? No. If someone were trying to kill you, do you think you could take their life if you had to? Yes. If your mother turned into a zombie, do you think you'd have what- Ah, oh, I've made a pact with everybody. Yes. If there's a hell, do you think you're going there? I hope not. Have you ever attempted to contact spirits? No, I have not. Have you ever had a sudden urge to jump in front of a car? No, but I've hit my- That's a spoiler. For a future project. Uh, have you ever had the study? Yes. Uh, if you were a witness to a murder and the killer threatened you, if you told anyone, would you go to the police? Yes, I would. Have you ever seen a ghost or something supernatural that you couldn't explain? Yes. But I don't necessarily... I don't know if I... Mm. Yes. If you could come back as a ghost, would that... Would you choose to haunt someone? And make... Oh, you no, know, that's a waste of time. I'd rather... Not. If you could make a deal with the devil in exchange for your soul, would you take... Oh. No, I got it pretty good. If someone were hiding in your room right now and I told you exactly where, would you go check? Yes. Are you concerned that some... No. Do you ever worry that someone might be living in your house without your knowledge? I've thought of that, but no, I'm not... I'm not worried about it. Uh, yes, I don't like doing that. No, they have not been pulled. Have you ever felt like while you were falling on... Yes, several times. Do you realize that... Hello? Hello? What? Oh, you need my help. I'll be... Yes, I do think that. Uh, yes. If you were crazy, you wouldn't know you were crazy. Do you understand? Yeah, I know. If you could read people's minds and know exactly what everyone was thinking of, would you allow yourself? Yes, I would. Uh, if you could rob a bank and get away with it, would you do it? Yes, I would. I'd get away with it. There's no problem. Uh, if you could turn invisible, would you spy on people as often as possible? Are you afraid of death? That is a weird one. Yes and no. I'm not afraid of being dead. I'm afraid of not being alive. I don't, uh, want to stop, I don't want to go anywhere, I don't want to leave. After I'm gone, uh, that's fine. 
but I'm going to say no. Uh, does the thought that there might be nothing after our life bother you? No. Does the thought that there might be an afterlife bother you? No. Just, I'm along for the ride, Broham. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Answer that one for me. Am I afraid of being abandoned? Yes. That's what I thought. Are you afraid of dying alone? Yes. Are you afraid of being lied to by the ones you love? I did that recently, and I learned my lesson. Do you think the ones around you would betray you? I would hope not. Do you have a hard time trusting people? Yes. Do you feel alone? You're cycling back now. Do you feel like you understand others fairly well, but the others have a difficult time? Yeah. Do you feel slightly more comfortable at this point? No. Do you feel safe? Yes. Do you feel like you could be easily fooled by loved ones? No, I can read them better than other people. Do you enjoy being dominated? No. Do you enjoy dominating other people? No. If you could live like royalty, would you? Does that mean in an 18th century or 14th century castle that smells like cow dung? Because if so, yes. If you could travel anywhere in the world instantly and for free, but you may never return to that place again once you left, would you do it? Yes, I would. Do you believe in time travel? No. Do you think aliens could potentially be humans from the future, just traveling back into... No. Uh, would you choose to sleep inside a coffin? I've seen some that look so cozy. Uh, if you had to chop off one of your hands or feet to escape from a killer, would you do it? Yes, because I would... It's either live or die. Does the sight of blood make you squeamish? No. But getting blood drawn does. So I'm going to say no. This is a long quiz. If you knew a doll was haunted, would you buy it? Yes. I would give it to my brother without him knowing. Would you consider yourself to be superstitious? No. Or just a little stitious? Someone watches The Office. I'm not even sorry that reference was worth it. Yep, that was a good one. Does the thought of being put in a straitjacket make you uncomfortable? Yes, I don't want to be put in a straitjacket. Would you ever walk through a graveyard just for fun? Honestly, yeah, I would. Would you try human flesh to see what it tastes like? I've mentioned this several times to several people, yes. Do you believe in voodoo? No. If I told you that there's a voodoo doll that looks just like you hanging in a tree somewhere near your house, would that make you feel uncomfortable? No, because I know who would have done it. Do you get uncomfortable? No, I never even notice. Uh, do you ever worry that? Yes! Are you afraid of sharks? Okay, now the game is honing in on me. Humans are more dangerous than any other man. Absolutely, 100%. Do you consider yourself to be a dangerous person? No. D would you rather choose the death penalty other than living the rest of your life in a cell? No, because I'll break out. If I told you that there were seven secret messages hidden throughout the last hundred or so questions, would you believe me? Yeah. Do you believe... No. Would you consider yourself to be mentally stable? Am I mentally stable? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, would you trust your best friend to be alone with your lover? I mean... Zach and Michaela are alone together all the time. I've left Michaela alone with Dimitri and George. Yes. Would you trust yourself to be alone with your best friend's lover? Wait, who would that... What? Jess, or Zach's, or... Oh, or yeah! Or... <laughs> I mean, I knew the answer was going to be yes. Dropped, like, everyone. Yeah, no, I knew the answer was going to be yes. I just didn't know who that would be. Uh, if you could leave this life behind and live one of your wildest dreams, never to return to this current time again, would you do it? No. Do you have a specific goal in life you're determined to achieve? Yes, I have like 400. Uh, would you say that you sometimes lack motivation? Rarely, but yes. If someone attacked you, would you attack them back? Fiercely. Are you sure that the life you're living is real and not just a figment of your imagination or some crazy in-depth dream? I'm pretty sure. 
you woke up right now and realized that everything you knew of this life was a dream and your actual life and everyone in it was entirely different, would you be disappointed? Yes. Uh, if you could win the lottery but only have seven... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I want to touch on that for a second. I don't think winning the lottery is worth shortening my lifespan to seven years because I... And I'm not just saying it because she's sitting right there, but I want like 80,000 years with my wife. I don't want to die in seven years. Uh, now for the final and most important question. I want you to really think about this one and answer honestly. Take your time, but don't answer too quickly. Really think about it. Okay. Are you happy? Yes. This is all very interesting. I'm going to turn your results into the fear machine and let it decide whether or not it wants to reveal your potential fate. Uh, hopefully not. What does that mean? I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answer honestly or dishonestly, it took loads of time to respond. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging. Oh, come on. Stop being a dick. Okay, here we go. What do you mean, oh dear? <laughs> waiting huh it's him he's coming for me he's coming to no who is it it's George isn't it yep it's George he watches you so close George Okay. He cannot take his hand, cannot listen to his words. I mean, I never do. He will drag your soul off into another realm. He'll, Dude, he has already. It's not too late, however. You must turn away. You must try your best to awaken. Okay. George, leave me alone. You must find the object of his power, something in your home that you feel uneasy about. It may not belong to you. Brought into your life. George, what did you do to me? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're distracting me from my grand finale. Dinner is about. Who's this for? It was uh, when we lived in the apartment. Oh! You know, like, that looks really good. Because it looked like you were cooking it. It's just everything you cook looks incredible. Uh, rid yourself of it. Yeah, I don't have anything like that. Okay. What an experience. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, nice. I'm going to go ahead and do that. <coughs> Thank you for taking the time to answer. That's really cool. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to have my wife do this. Because this was really cool. And if I can't convince her to do it... Bye!